Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? So today's part two and we're still working with our backgrounds and harvesting our dried up little paints to use in future projects. You can hear the puppies scratching at the door to actually go out of my room. They want to go hang out with their daddy. So part two is 16 minutes and 33 seconds long. And I hope you don't mind, I gotta let the puppies out. make up their mind on where they're going to go, if they're going to go hang out with dad or if they're going to come stay here. Keep harvesting those paints. I've got a project for you guys. So I'm just sitting back here and relaxing and doing a voiceover. I'm really anxious to get all of these series out to you guys and um, I just finished part 18? Yeah, part 18. Um, as a matter of fact, let me explain that when I say part 18 doesn't mean that there's going to be 18 videos. Like this video, for instance, that you're watching is actually part 3, 4, and 5 for me. And when I say parts, I'm, I should explain myself and say clips. Those are three clips for me first video I did I think was three clips also. But anyways, use your fingers, have fun here and you get different visual techniques, uh, visual um, techniques I would I think is the right word. Every time I get on video I forget my words. I swear to you I know how to speak. Um, I had too much paint on that one postcard there, or I should say greeting card, so what I did was watered it down a little and just smushed it onto the other greeting card. Hope you guys are joining me and having fun. I'm not too sure how often I'll be releasing these little series. So far you guys gotten part one, and like I mentioned, this is part two. I'm just thinking to myself what to do next. I love using hot pink. Although it may not match, I love using hot pink. I really, really do. And continue harvesting those little paints there. And again, we're just dabbing out as much as paint as it wants to come out. Mm. And now we're going to use a paintbrush and try to get that hot pink to show. Hot pink, meaning a neon hot pink, is kind of hard to show. So you guys will see in, in, in a second that I end up pouring out a lot more than what I need, but I actually end up end up liking what, what it looks like. My point here for sharing what I do is to inspire myself and inspire you guys to not let anything stop you from expressing yourselves. I think it's here where I end up putting lots. Yeah! Lots and lots and lots. I love hot pink. Love, love hot pink. As a matter of fact, watching this with you guys. I should have left it like that. But I'm fine with what I did, but I like what I see. So I get the greeting cards and I lay it on top. And then I smash it down with my hands, and my fingers, to pick some up. And I did. We got some up, but we need more. There we go. Loving, loving, loving it. And now uh, we're going to do it for as long as the other greeting card with the fluorescent neon allows me to. I really like the way these are looking. So 
So far, wow, we're barely in five minutes. I feel like we've been here for days. Just plain. Some more hot pink. Let's just do it. I really, really appreciate all the support that I've been getting on part one. And as a reminder to you guys, part my teaser video and my part one, and this is part two, they're all going to be in a separate playlist called Let's Make Postcards Together. I think that's what it's called. I'm not even sure anymore. Now I know where we're at. Okay. In the teaser clip, you guys seen me playing with this stick here. Basically, it's a, a dowel. And I have a little jar with rubber bands. As a matter of fact, I should actually throw these rubber bands that you're seeing away because they're all sticky and they're breaking apart because they are so old. But we're going to try our best and we're going to make a texture tool. And I'm just wrapping around a, the rubber band however many times it wants to wrap around. Pull, uh, you could pull on it, you could make it come together. I'm sure you've seen this technique in other places. Um, I just wanted to play with it. I think it's cool when you double twist and then wrap. I think it comes out really cool. Spread it and push it together as much as you like. Use as many rubber bands as you like. So we're going to put that away. And then this tool here, that there, that little cap there, is from hair dye. You know how you have to open up the hair dye? Okay, and that one there is from a scrubby um, sponge for your dishes. I took it apart, the metal ones, and obviously that there is a little umbrellas. And then styrofoam. Okay, so now we're just going to grab, I think, some white paint, or we're going to decide first and put some white paint, I'm assuming. But yes, that other button-looking thing is on a dowel that I glued down with E6000. It is the little caps that come off of the hair dye, um, the actual color of hair dye. You have to uh, pop it off. Well, I thought they were cool, so I kept a few, and I knew eventually I would turn it into uh, mixed media tool for myself and I did. Okay, here what we're going to do is um, use the actual tool that we made from the hair dye button, I'm going to call it, that came off of the bottle. And we're just going to pounce back and forth. I didn't even know what kind of design it was going to make it, if it was going to work or not, but it did. It ended up working out quite well. The dowel is from, um, you guys know those foam brushes? Once you're done using the foam and it's all hardened because some of us just fall asleep or just don't even clean them. I usually do. I'm very frugal. But the dowel is from one of those sponges that I happen to not take care of or used too much because I'm not sure which way it went. And I pulled off the foam. And the little wooden dowels that hold the foam are great to collect. You can use them in so many, so, so many things. Especially handles for stamps. And we're just going to continue this process. I could easily speed through, but like I said, I want to take you guys through real time. Uh, the way I like it, and the way so many of you guys like it. As if we're just sitting here and crafting together. You're right next to me. Imagine yourself right next to me. And we're, we're just creating and playing and chatting. Maybe having a glass of water. 
or a glass of wine, or maybe a beer. Whichever you like, or even a cup of tea, or what else can we be drinking? Oh no, you guys tell me down below. Leave me a comment on what you imagine we would be drinking together. I'm up for all of them. Except for coffee. Coffee has to be any time before 6 in the evening, because otherwise I'm not going to sleep at all. And I just continue until I run out of paint. Why I did it that way? I have no clue. No clue. This is how you let these things happen just naturally and you'll be surprised. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys play this way. Surpri just surprising yourself without having anything written down. Well, that's me not having anything written down and just jumping at it and doing just eager to see what mischief I can come up with on my papers and what comes out and what creates itself from me just messing around If you ever want to come back to the videos, like I mentioned, they are going to be in a playlist. I know that some of you guys don't catch my videos right away. You're busy in life, and eventually you will stumble upon my video or stumble upon my channel. Just sprayed some water. Um, just to, uh, what do they call that technique? Pushing back, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's pushing back. Plus, it's my excuse to get color onto my rags. And you know that I love my drop papers, drop fabrics, and rags. I love them to have lots of color. Like the one you see underneath what we're doing right now. That eventually either become a bracelet, or a journal, or... I don't know. It always becomes something. Checking to see if we can harvest any of those paints, but I think we already did. So now we're going to use this tool here, which I thought was going to give me a different look, because I've never used it before. And that the one I'm talking about is um, the metal sponges you get at the dollar store. I just grabbed a few pieces off of there. Excuse me. And um, glued it onto that wooden dowel. So I was quite surprised at what I thought it was going to give, and it didn't. But it's still, it's, we still have paint out, so what am I going to do? Continue playing, because it's giving some nice dots. And my dots aren't perfect, and I like that. And we're just going to continue until I use up all the paint that's back there. You guys can hear my squeaky chair. It's a comfy chair though, but it's squeaky. It's about 10 years old. I could probably use the drop fabric you see and reupholster my studio chair. That way, if I ever need to wipe on my chair, I can wipe on my chair and not and not feel bad. All right, so we are 14 minutes, almost 15 minutes into the video, and um, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are playing along with me. I would love to see pictures. I would love to see what I inspire, and please leave a comment down below. 
um, how you guys feel about this series that I'm doing here. And we're just going to continue using up the paper, I mean the paint, sorry. And we go on and on and on and on until these little series and clips are all done. And I really appreciate you guys so very much. All my new subbies and my older subbies, of course. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to thumbs up, please. And don't forget to leave me a comment. We're almost done. I think we're on our last greeting card. Let's see. No, I think we have this one and one more, so that makes two. And I'm going to say bye. And really, 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 really appreciate you guys so, so very much. You guys have yourselves a wonderful night or day, whatever time it is where, where you're at. And I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you guys later, and sending you lots and lots of love. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.